Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we'll be looking at the, the uh, line item on the cash flow statement under the financing activities known as sale or repurchase or sale and purchase of a stock. Uh, and before we get into that, I want to give you guys a quick little definition here so that you understand uh, what's going on. So as we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll give you the actual definition. Then we'll go on to look at some examples, give you a more insight. Uh, the thing that you need to know before you get into the sale or repurchase of stock is what treasury stock is. Treasury stock is the portion of shares uh, that a company keeps in their own treasury. Treasury stock may have come from a purchase or buyback from shareholders or it may have never been issued to the public in the first place. Uh, these shares don't pay dividends, have no voting rights, and should not be included in shares outstanding calculations. A company can decide to hold onto treasury stock indefinitely, reissue them to the public, or even cancel them altogether, known as retiring them. For this example, we'll be looking at the Walmart Stores Incorporated cash flow statement. I'm looking at the annual data here. Um, we scroll on down, you know that the cash flow statement is broken into three main sections. There's the operating uh, activities, there's the investing activities, and then of course there's the financing activities. Uh, and this is different ways that a company could uh, raise uh, capital for itself if it needed to. Um, so let's look at what you see here. Under the um, sale purchase of stock, you basically put a little slash between these two. So it's a sale or a repurchase or sale or purchase of stock. There's different ways it can be written out, but it's all basically the same thing. Uh, and what you'll see here whenever you're looking at that, let me go ahead and get this just separate. Let me get the tools. Okay, the sale or purchase of stock is simply the company buying back its own shares uh, and then that they, of course, put them into the treasury or uh, they release them from the treasury and uh, this, uh, to raise money. They basically put them back into the market. So if you have a situation where you're looking at a cash flow statement, which is going to be showing you cash flowing in or out of the company, and you look over here and you see a negative number, that's actually a positive for investors um, because a negative number here means the company has spent cash to go buy back its own shares. Now, it's not always a negative. There could be variations where, let's say, I mean, it's not always a positive. Let's assume for a moment that uh, the company bought back its own shares. We would like that as existing shareholders because, the, let's say, that, for example, that they had um, been uh, consistently paying a dividend and they're going to, just for easy numbers, let's just say there was only two shares and they were uh, paying a dividend of $1. Well, that dividend has to get divided between those two shares, right? So each share gets 50 cents. Well, if the company comes back and they buy back uh, one of those shares, well, now that same dividend, assuming it would be continued, um, would be going directly to one particular share that's out there, the only share that's out there, because treasury shares don't get uh, a dividend. So that would be a positive to existing shareholders. You know, that would be a good thing. But let's say, for example, that the company goes out and they buy back their own shares, but at the time that they buy back their own shares, they were um, substantially overpriced. I mean, that could be a, that would be a negative. So you'd like to see a company buy back their own shares when the company has sold off substantially and then they feel that it's it's an oversold uh, situation. And that's one of the things a lot of people look at whenever the company's buying back its own shares that, okay, that must mean that the company feels that the shares are of good value here. So that's something you might think about. Uh, but for the most case, whenever you see a negative number here, the company's bought back their own shares, that's a positive sign for existing shareholders. If, on the other hand, you had a positive number over here, then you would know that the company was raising cash by selling its own stock out of the treasury back onto the market. That, of course, uh, dilutes current shareholders, and it would be that kind of a, a scenario there. But uh, in this particular case, we can see that we have consistent uh, buyback of their own shares, which is a good thing, okay? Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.